Hi everyone, and welcome back. In this video, I'd like to use Newton's interpolating polynomial to find a cubic passing through the four data points shown here. These points were chosen to match the plot from our last video, so what we're going to do is find a cubic polynomial that passes through all four. To accomplish this goal, we're going to need the interpolation formula from our previous video. It says that if you want a polynomial of degree n to pass through your n plus 1 data points, then it's given by an expression like this. In this case, since we have four data points, and hence we're approximating with a cubic, we stop once we have a denominator of 3 factorial. Well, this is fantastic, right? Because it means that we just need to find y0, delta y0, delta squared of y0, and delta cubed y0. That will give us our polynomial. But hold on. I don't know how to find these forward difference terms. Maybe that's a really hard thing to do. Oh, come on, Newton. No, it's not the case. Finding the forward differences is very, very easy. Let me show you how. Okay, so I've included the list of terms that we're looking for, as well as the four points that we were given in the question. We need to compute these finite differences. So how do you do it? Well, go back to the definitions. What do these terms really represent? Well, if our points are y0, y1, y2, and y3, those would be our y-coordinates, then the first finite differences, delta y0, delta y1, and delta y2, would be the differences of the two terms that came before. So for example, delta y0 is going to be y1 minus y0. Delta y1 is going to be y2 minus y1, and delta y2 is y3 minus y2. That's how you compute the first set of finite differences, but going to the next level is exactly the same. To get delta squared of y0, we take the difference of the two terms that came before, and so on. So it's incredibly easy to compute these finite differences. If you can do subtraction, you can find them. Notice that the terms that we're looking for, y0, delta y0, and so on, are exactly the terms on this first line of our triangle. All right, let's see how this works with our particular set of data points. We start with the first column, which is made up of our y values. So my first column is going to be 3, 1, 5, and 7. To get the next column, I start taking differences of two terms at a time. So 1 minus 3, that's going to give me minus 2. 5 minus 1, that gives me 4. 7 minus 5, that gives me 2. Next, I just do it again, rinse and repeat. 4 minus minus 2 is going to give me 6, and 2 minus 4 is going to give me minus 2. One more time. Minus 2 minus 6 is going to give me minus 8. Okay, we're done. The terms that we're looking for are found along this first line of my triangle. This is y0, this is delta y0, this is delta squared of y0, and this is delta cubed of y0. Let's put them in our formula and obtain our polynomial. All right, folks, let's wrap up this problem. We have our y0 term and our next three finite differences. We're ready to plug those expressions into our polynomial and obtain our interpolating cubic. So starting with our y0 term, we have y is equal to 3. Next, we have to add in our first forward difference, minus 2. So that's minus 2x. We add in our next forward difference, which is 6. So plus x, x minus 1 times 6 over 2 factorial. And lastly, we add in this last forward difference, which is minus 8. That gives me minus x, x minus 1, x minus 2, times 8 over 3 factorial. Now, you could probably just leave your final answer like this, and it would be fine, but it does feel a little bit wrong not to simplify these coefficients. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I get a final answer of y equals 3 minus 2x, plus 3x times x minus 1, minus 4 thirds, that's what this coefficient simplifies to, times x, x minus 1, x minus 2. Leaving your answer in this form is totally fine. There's no need to expand this expression and collect like terms. This is our interpolating cubic. To wrap up this video, I've included the graph of our interpolating cubic polynomial. You can see from the graph that this polynomial will fit the bill. Our four data points, 0, 3, 1, 1, 2, 5, and 3, 7, all lie along this curve. Now you gotta admit, that's a little bit cool. 